the first fundamental theorem of calculus tells you the definite integral from a to b of some function dx is equal to the change in antiderivative change in antiderivative from a to b so if the antiderivative has been 5 at at x equals to a and it's changing to 7 at x equals to b our our fundamental theorem tells you that the area under the curve the original curve from a to b is equal to the change in antiderivative or 2 that's what first fundamental theorem tells you so let's think of it like this what's the definite integral from a to b of rate of change of some quantity if the quantity can be the amount of water it can be the amount of amount of wood it can be amount of students it can be amount of cars it can be amount of gas that's going out it can be really anything and if i ask you what is the definite integral of rate of change of some quantity you're going to say this thing is equal to change in change in antiderivative of the rate of change from a to b but what what is antiderivative of rate of change what and what is antiderivative antiderivative is something that if you differentiate or find the rate of change of you get the original function so what do we have to find the rate of change of to get rate of change of some quantity and it's not a trick question that's just quantity when you differentiate quantity by definition you get rate of change of quantity so antiderivative of rate of change of some quantity is going to be the quantity itself so first fundamental theorem tells you the the, uh, the definite integral of rate of change of some quantity is equal to net change net change in quantity from a to b net change in quantity so let's try out this example the rate at which water is poured into the tank in cubic meters per second and in ap test especially be careful about your units this may be cubic feet per minute this may be cubic who knows cubic miles per per who knows microsecond so you gotta make sure you take care take some time to look at the units to answer the questions and usually units are worth one one or two points on the ap test so make sure you pay attention so in cubic meters per second it can be modeled by this function f of t is 3t squared and they want you to find the net change in volume from 0 to 2 and first the fundamental theorem tells you a very easy way of doing it you just integrate from 0 to 2 and instead of x as our variable we have t so it's going to be dt what do we have to differentiate to get 3t squared that's t cubed when you differentiate t cubed you get 3t squared another way is by ignoring 3 and differentiating t squared to get t cubed over 3 and 3's cancel out yielding you t cubed and you're going from time of 0 to 2 at time of 2 you have 8 at time of 0 you have 0 so the change is 8 and the unit is cubing meters so that's our solution to the first one now let's look at b if there has been five cubing meters of water at time of zero find the volume of water at time of two from zero to two seconds you are adding an additional q eight cubing meters of water into the tank so if you started with five cubing meters how much water are you going to have at two seconds you're going to have five plus eight or 13 cubing meters at the end of two seconds and before i finish up this video i want to point out this doesn't have to be a rate of change at which water is poured into the tank it can be the rate at which the some timber or some wood is chopped in that case it's going to be the net change it's going to be the net change in amount of wood or it doesn't have to be wood it can be the rate at which students are entering the room students are entering the room then you're going to be finding the net change in number of students and hopefully you're realizing this can be anything it can be the rate of change it can be the velocity and you're finding the rate of change velocity is rate of change of position and you're finding net change in position or also known as displacement also known as displacement so this equation can be used in variety of ways whenever you are you have rate of change of quantity and you want to find net change in the quantity from a to b all you have to do is to definite integral of the rate of change function over that time